following the Alabama Supreme Court's ruling that frozen embryos created through in vitro fertilization are considered children, doctors and patients are fearful. This morning, outcry in Alabama, the state's largest hospital stopping all IVF procedures, fearing a lawsuit after a controversial court ruling in the Alabama Supreme Court last week finding people can be sued for destroying frozen embryos. The court concluding embryos on ice are no different than babies in the womb. At least 12 million people around the globe have been born using in vitro fertilization, IVF. So what could possibly be pro-life about preventing millions more from being born in the future? How can the public be expected to have the right ideas about IVF if news agencies don't even use the right words? IVF involves blastocysts, not embryos. And blastocysts are much younger and less developed. The Oxford Dictionary defines embryo as a human offspring during a period from approximately the second to the eighth week after fertilization. Instead, IVF involves blastocysts, which are groups of only 200 to 300 cells that can subsequently differentiate into the placenta and the fetus. Wikipedia says the use of blastocysts in IVF involves culturing a fertilized eggs for five days before transferring it into the uterus. Since cell growth is exponential, there's a big difference between five days and two to eight weeks. How can the public be expected to have the right ideas about IVF if news agencies don't even use the right words?